مهدی In order for the people of Mecca to come out to him, he has to be a well-known person. Mecca has always been a Sunni city. Mecca has never been a Shia city. And so it is impossible for us to hold the view that the Mahdi, when he comes to Mecca, would be a Shia personality. Mecca would not accept it. A Shia as their Amir or Imam or Khalifa. When the Mahdi accepts the Bay'ah, then he is attacked by an army from Sham, Syria. The Prophet said that when an army crosses Medina going down south to Mecca, the earth is going to open and swallow that army. This is one of the ten major signs of the last day. When that happens, then you can no longer deny this is the Mahdi. We will now wait to see what Iran does. Those who accept him as the Mahdi are our brothers. Those who do not are not our brothers. Then he is going to be attacked by an army from Arabia, said the Prophet ﷺ. An army of the Quraysh of the Kalb. And the army, army is of course under the control of government. He will defeat that army. And when he defeats that army, then the, the, the Arabian Peninsula would have been liberated and Darul Islam would have been restored. When Darul Islam is restored, it means that Allah's sovereignty is now recognized. Allah's authority is recognized as the supreme authority now. The Charter of the United Nations Organization. Allah's law is now recognized as a supreme law, not resolutions of the Security Council. And so Darul Islam has been restored. Islam is now re-emerging as a potent force in the world. That's around the corner. It's coming. This constitutes the most potent of all threats to the state of Israel. When the Islamic revolution comes to Arabia, the heartland of Islam. And so Dajjal has to do something. And so he attacks the Mahdi. The Prophet said that Islam to Islam, he's not going to be using tanks for his attack. The Prophet said he's going to come from the east. He pointed his, fin his fingers to the east 20 times. He's going to attack from the east. How would he attack? The Jal is going to ride on a donkey. The donkey will travel as fast as the clouds. The donkey will have his ears stretched out wide. I traveled on that donkey to go to Hong Kong last week. <laughs> so, you're talking about fighter aircraft, big aerial warfare. The Jal is strong in the air. He has command of the skies. He has his fighter aircraft. He has his helicopter gunships and so on. But when the Jal attacks, the angels will defend Mecca and Medina. And Sahih Muslim says that the attack will be diverted to Damascus. And then the Prophet has described in some detail what is now going to happen. It is reminiscent of what happened over there by the Red Sea. When Moses alayhi salam and Banu Israel, it would seem were cornered. No way out. They were between the devil and the deep blue sea, remember? And at the last moment Allah intervened. Similarly, repeat, history repeats itself one more time. When the whole world believes that Islam is a spent force. When the whole world believes that the moment has come and finally and at last to finish with Islam. <laughs> it is at this moment. Dajjal is outside the masjid, says the Prophet of Islam. Followed by 70,000 Jews from Isfahan. Which means that the state of Israel 
power in the state of Israel will move from the European Jews to the Jews of the Arab world. That transfer of power has already started. Dajjal is outside, followed by 70,000 Jews from Isfahan wearing the Jewish shorts. And the Imam is inside the masjid, and the masjid is barricaded, because Israel has invaded Syria. It's at this time when the Salat is about to take place, this last moment that Allah intervenes. And the true Messiah comes down with his hands resting on the wings of two angels. And Jesus comes down in the masjid. And when the Imam sees the son of Mary, he will say what John the Baptist said before. History repeats itself. He will say, here he is, this is the son of Mary. Positive identification. Mirza Qulam Ahmad. Heard about it? He said, I am the fulfillment of that prophecy about the return of the true Messiah. But he had a big problem. His problem is that the Messiah who is coming is the son of Mary, and he happened to be the son of a Punjabi woman. <laughs> the Salat, the prayer. The son of Mary will say, no, the people have appointed you as the Imam, you lead. Hmm? After the prayer of the Salat is finished, in which, in which the son of Mary will worship and pray and bow down, prostrate before the God of Abraham, the one God. He will worship God. Don't worship him. When the Salat is over, he will then say, open the gates. All of this is in the hadith of Sahih Muslim. When he comes out, the false messiah will see the true messiah. And the false messiah will become so scared that the prophet used an Arab expression, he says he's going to melt like salt melts in water. And then the false messiah will flee. In which direction? Baghdad? No, 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 the state of Israel. And the true Messiah pursues him and overtakes him in a place called Lud. And Lud is the headquarters of the Israeli Air Force. So it's aerial warfare. And the true Messiah now kills the false Messiah. That's coming around the corner. Within the next 50 years, inshallah, I believe. Of course, I can be wrong, but this is my plausible guesswork. When the true Messiah kills the false Messiah, then an essential component of the support of the State of Israel and of the world order that controls the world today would have been demolished. After this comes the destruction of Gog and Magog, which is tomorrow's lecture. So I need not uh, speak on it today. When Gog and Magog are destroyed, and the Jal, the false messiah, has been killed. Then the very foundations of the world order which controls the world today will have been demolished. My suspicion is that the world of modern technology will also come to a halt at that time. At this time, said the Prophet, I'm going to quote two ahadith now. But do please remember, these words are not coming from me. They are not my words. These are the words of the Prophet Muhammad And I have the right to quote the Prophet in order for me to teach this subject. He said, this is the first hadith I'm quoting which is not in Bukhari, and not in Muslim, this hadith is in Tirmizi, the Sunan of Tirmizi. He said, when you see the black flags coming from the direction of Khorasan, go and join that army, even if you have to crawl over ice. 
those five words. Where is Khorasan? The illustrious Pakistani scholar Dr. Israr Ahmad has done the research and has explained to us that Khorasan at the time